Hi, this is Kara with Face Paint Fun by Kara, and today I'm going to show you my version of a one stroke sugar skull using Global's Fun Stroke in London. So, first, I'm going to start by just covering my face with Wolf White. It's a great, super opaque white. I just love to use it. I alternated using my Always Look at Art sponge and a kabuki brush that I just picked up at Walmart until I was really happy with the coverage. And then I loaded my Always Look at Art sponge with the purple on the rounded part of the teardrop shape and I just tapped it over my eye and I just pivoted it around. Now the eye shape on a sugar skull is totally a personal preference. I just like to arch it up over my eyebrow and not bring it down too far onto my cheek because I feel like it's just most flattering that way. But if you like it bigger, go ahead and do that. I just like to keep it right under my eye. So that's what I did is pivoted my sponge, keeping the purple on the outside. Not worrying too much about a perfect edge because I went back in with my low Cornell round number four and I just loaded up the dark purple from the fun stroke and I just traced it around to clean up that edge. And then I took my sponge that was already loaded and I just blended that purple down into the green so I had a nice clean line all the way around. And just making sure that your shapes are symmetrical on each side do the same thing for the other eye, just cleaning up the edge all the way around and then blending it in again. Okay, and then with my Prisma 1 inch 1 stroke, I loaded up all of the colors from the Fun Stroke Global in London and I swooped it up the side of my cheek just to represent where the sugar skull would have that hollowed out cheek area. And then I took a sponge to blend the green down into the white and did the same thing on the other side. Blending that green so that it got a nice smooth gradient down onto your cheek. All right, with really, really clean, dry hands and a clean, dry stencil because you were just using that dark purple and you have all that white paint and you don't want to mess it up. Center BAM Stencil 2027 in the middle of your forehead and just tap on the loaded up Wicked Art sponge so that the purple's on the top down your forehead. Load up the sponge again and with a really, really clean dry hand and a clean dry stencil, otherwise you're going to mess it all up. We're going to use, this is a stencil that was given to me with an order from the Face Paint Forum shop. Free stencil with order. And this was great. I love using this one. It's awesome. There were two. I lost one on a job. So as I tap this one onto my cheek, I'm going to have to take it off, wash it off really, really well, dry it off really, really well so that I can use it on my other cheek. And if it's not thoroughly dry or thoroughly clean, you're going to smudge up your paint and mess it up. So you just want to make sure when you're stenciling, especially over a sugar skull that's so white and bright that you do a clean job. Okay, now taking just the two lighter colors on my 3 8 inch angle brush, um, just it's an American painter, load it up so that the darker blue is on the tip of the brush and we're just going to paint in the chin piece. And I'm just drawing a semicircle because I'm going to make a flower. Just going to draw a semicircle over my chin, fill it in with the shorter edge and load up the light green to draw the petals. And this is just my little Cornell number four that I used to outline my eyes. And I'm just going to trace in some petals around this flower on my chin. And then fill them all in. And then take the blue color, load that up onto your brush, and give those, give those petals an outline. And then I'm going to switch to my low Cornell number two and I'm going to load it up with some black and I'm going to flick some little lines in so that those petals just really pop and stand out. And I'm going to rinse that off and I'm going to load up the dark purple from the Global Fun Stroke, just the purple, and I'm just going to do, these are the only hand drawn curls in this whole design. So I'm going to take one curl up one going down and one going up. And I'm going to mimic that on the other side. 
I'm going up, a curl facing down, and a curl facing up all the way up my jaw. And I'm going to pull in a series of teardrops every place that the curls start or meet. And do the same thing on the other side. Just mirror that and make it symmetrical. Alright, so I was making sure that my forehead was really dry before I went back in with the stencils to fill in that empty space that was on either side of that band stencil. And I waited purposely to make sure that I wasn't going to mess anything up. So again, I, before I flipped it over, I washed it off and I dried it really well. And I made sure my hands were clean. Oh, I had my sponge upside down. I made sure my hands were really clean too. All right, now that I tap that in, I'm going to take my little Cornell number two again with the dark purple from the fun stroke. And I'm just going to pull in three teardrops down to the center of my forehead. Just my focal point all headed to the same spot as the middle of my nose, the bridge of my nose. And same thing on the other side. All right, and then loading up my number five Le Cornell with the light green from the fun stroke, I rubbed off the tip and then I drug that into the very dark purple of the fun stroke. And I'm just gonna do some double dipped petals around each eye. And you can just pivot and turn your brush as you run out of paint. And then I did the same thing on the other side. I rinsed the brush and I reloaded it into the green and then just the tip into the purple. And then my number four low Cornell, I started to do the nose. And the nose is just, again, a personal preference. There's no right or wrong way to do it. I like to just do a U shape and then just kind of flick up some lines. And, but for some reason I wasn't happy with the way my the skinny lines that my number four was making. So I just took my number two to finish it off and clean up the edges. And I was able to do some nicer little flicks. But no real rhyme or reason for the nose. So we're gonna finish off the lips. I'm starting with the green on the inside and then the light blue from the fun stroke on outside of the green and I'm going to line the whole thing with the dark purple. And now for the stitching, um, I just took my low Cornell number two into some wolf black and some lines, real skinny, just staying on the tip of your brush up the side of each cheek. And then I flicked in the stitches and you can make as many or as few as these like. I like to keep them kind of far apart and I don't like to put too much on my mouth because I feel like it ages your mouth. I think just a few is a little bit more flattering, but that's again a personal preference and you can do as many or as few as a leg. Just make sure you're staying on the tip of your brush. And then I finished that up with some homemade bling and I just applied that with some glitter tattoo glue that I got from Face Paint Form Shop. And then I tapped on some iridescent teal glitter. I just wet the tip of my finger on a baby wipe and I tapped it over each eyelid and then do the same thing for my lips. And I just, I had to wet my lips with a baby wipe because they, they had dried and I needed to make sure the glitter was going to stick. And that was just perfect. Okay, and now I'm going to go, I did some eyeliner, put my hair down, and that is the finished design. It was quick, it was stenciled, and I hope you guys liked it.